eight rounds of boxing scheduled in the welterweight division. This bout is brought to you by Saddam Ali's World Kid Promotions in association with Integrated Sports. Sponsored by Bay Ridge Honda, CHN Trucking, Strazulo Law Firm, and Everlast. This bout is sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission. Chairwoman in attendance, Melvina Lathan. Judges ringside, Frank Lombardi, John Fodore, and John Signorelli. Your referee for this contest, Harvey Dock. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the four corners of the world to the four corners of this ring here at the Aviator Sports Complex in Brooklyn, New York, the fight starts now. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with silver trim, uh, official weight 145 and one half pounds. Professional record, 13 victories, seven defeats. He has one draw. He has four wins coming by way of knockout. From Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the former WBC Latino title challenger, Ronnie Warrior Jr. Warrior Jr. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He wears the red, white, blue, and black. He weighed in at 147 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 15 fights, 15 victories, nine of them coming by way of knockout. From the beautiful borough of Brooklyn, New York, the 2008 U.S. Olympian, Saddam Wilkin Ali. Ali. All right, so referee Harry Dock brings him in. One of the big questions was, would this guy be distracted? But we talked to him yesterday. He wasn't distracted at all by the change of It's just That's absolutely amazing, Curtis, because he was totally focused. Right and As so reminder, anxious to get into the ring. Times, protect yourself at all times. Touch him up. Good luck. All right, we're set to go. This is the main event. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan along with Benny Ricardo. Glad that you're with us around the world. Saddam Ali, we get to see him in action in his 16th professional fight. We talked about his uh, amateur career with over 200 amateur fights. And for Ron Warrior, it's a chance to get back going. He hasn't been very successful in recent fights, but he got himself in great shape for this one. He knew that he was going to be on this uh, uh, this uh, card. He's a very bright kid. He has a master's degree, a college grad, and health and mental health, and does a great job. So let's see how he does as a fighter. He's a southpaw, as you can see. Ron Warrior Jr. in the black with the silver trunks, up on his toes. Ali goes downstairs with his first shot, holds his hands high, flicks out that jab. Now notice that how he drives off the back foot, so he jabs with authority. When he throws a jab, you know it's a jab. Exactly, and you know that's some Andre Rozier has worked with him and really developed this kid. Very, very fine-tuned fighter is Saddam Ali. Red, white, and blue trunks with the silver trim in the front. He looks great out there. Very classy-looking fighter. Showing the hand speed there, Ron Warrior. Little bright-eyed here, fighting in the main event, someplace he didn't expect to be, but uh, all of a sudden he came in and uh, Ali. Would he have to adjust to a southpaw? He said a little bit, but I'm just a fighter, and that's all I want to do is fight. And that's a great attitude to have, and you can see the quickness in the hands right there. Saddam, World Kid Ali. And the chant of Ali Ali goes up, and that's great for me because I called about uh, 18 and 19 of Muhammad Ali's fights, so it brings back great memories for me, including being in Zaire. And what did they call him then? Ali Boumaye. Boumaye. Ali Boumaye was killing him. See, look at look at the stance of Ali, pigeon-toed, which means you got a lot of force coming forward. But he bounces, he, he kind of bounces and uh, glides across the ring. I love his style so far. Ron Warrior, almost a perfect opponent for him, except for the fact he's southpaw on a late fill-in for uh, Jermaine White. But it doesn't affect Ali. He's ready for any contingency. Look at the hand speed. Yeah, look how tight it is. He never lets that hand hand stick out at all. Throws it, brings it right back. Well, so far in the first round, Warrior hasn't been able to do anything with him. Warrior in the black trunks doing a lot of catching. I don't think he's seen the kind of speed that Ali brings. 
no, not in a while anyway. He's not in the in the peak of his career at age 35, and he hasn't been real active. But remember, Ali is just bringing himself along slowly. We asked him yesterday about moving up in class. He said, "I got to take it one fight at a time right now and to see how I can continue to develop." So I mean, it's a bright kid, a nice kid, and I think you know he has the ability. It's difficult to tell just how good he is against the uh, Ron Warrior, who hasn't been successful as of late. Watch what he does with the left shoulder, look, Colonel Ali. Look at that. Yeah, it turns little it Mayweather like. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of slick moves. Nice straight right hand that time. Didn't quite catch Warrior, but he will. Sort of feeling him out here in the first round with about 15 seconds to go now in round number one. This is scheduled for eight rounds. It originally was supposed to be a championship fight, but of course, with the change of opponent, the New York State Athletic Commission said no way. Ali's kind of a combination Cobra Mongoose. Cobra Mongoose. I like that. So the opening round for Ali. 10 9. Good. Good, good, good. How you feeling? Give me a deep breath. Give it a mouth. I like what I saw. The only thing I didn't like was start a reason. You up to high. Maintain your balance. He saw some sliding over. A little uppercut. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. When you throw them combinations, loop the right hand. Loop the right hand. All right, because his left hand is low. Don't start dropping your hand. Very calm corner. I love it. Andre Rozier, Lenny Wilson. Danny Milano yeah. is in charge of the cuts. A lot of experience in that corner, and this is a super kid. I just hope he's successful with tonight's promotion. As far as the fights are concerned, the co-feature didn't turn out uh, as well as we had hoped, but it was still uh, a good fight. And you can't control what goes on in the ring. And in his fight against Warrior, he's got to do just what he has to do, and that's continue to win. So far, he's uh, shown, us, uh, shown us a lot of. Uh, Nice slick movements, and now he's going to close the gap and start landing some of these punches. Warrior tries to hold him off with that right jab of his. Warrior comes from a boxing family. Why with the right hand is Ali. Again, the corner of Ali telling him not the lunge. Caught a bit of the body downstairs that time, but nothing really significant. One thing I like to see him do is get up and, and really start landing some of the jabs instead of using it as a positioning tool for his right hand. But that'll come. He's had a whole ton of uh, amateur fights where just touching is the the idea. But look at this. What a nice combination of punches here as Ali turns it up. The world kid Ali showing that he has skills. Well, throw that combination, then the overhand right. It's there. Watch out. Watch the left hand of Warriors. He'll drop that, so that's what I said. You throw that combination, that right hand can come right over that left hand. Look at the way, right there, right there. You line it up. Slings the right hand out there that time, it misses. Very slick as he was in an awkward position, he was still able to land a couple of decent left hooks to the head of Ron Warrior. But the key was for him not to lean. He was right in the position to throw a shot where he positioned his feet right there. Warrior not able to get the left hand down the middle at all with this kid because Ali comes up and down. He's a you know good defensive fighter at this stage in his career in his 16th professional fight. Straight right hand again. And Warrior's a counter puncher. That's his nature. He wants to wait for that opportunity. Very hard to counter a guy that's as fast as this man. I love hearing that chanting of the Arab fans here chanting Ali Ali. Yeah, they're really enjoying it. Nice combination again, straight right hand, and good left hook in there. Right hand again, cracks the upper jaw, the left hand crashes to the right ear. Uppercut again, oh, and he hurt him. It. Down he goes. Let's see the counts up to four five. and five. I don't know if he can make it. Seven. He was clipped pretty good. Eight. It's up to eight nine. and nine. Right. He's staggered. Right. He doesn't want to fight anymore, but he says he's all right. With 19 seconds to go, let's see if the world kid can jump on him. There's another series of shots. And down goes Warrior again. Counts up to three and four and five. 
Six, Will he get up at six seven, and seven eight, and eight? I don't think he's going to get up nine and ten. It's all over. Saddam World Kid Ali knocks out Ronnie Warrior on the second knockdown in the second round. That was a great left hand. A great left hand, and you just saw the sense of urgency in the part of Saddam Ali. He heard that chant from the crowd. Ali, Ali, and that spurred him on. Really, really just kind of lit a fire into him, and then his legs exploded and landed that shot. Well, Benny's going to go up and we're going to have a chat with Saddam Ali. So we'll find that interesting. It came at 259 of the second round. So Saddam came and did what he was supposed to do. His record moves to 16 and 0 with 10 knockouts. But you get the idea that Ron Warrior, who was hurt, didn't want to really continue after the first knockdown. But he got up and then Ali assaulted him with only about 19 seconds left in the round and got all over him. So the crowd that came here to see Saddam, and that's his dad with him, David, they're very, very happy. And I hope the promotion has done them well because they're very, very nice people. But all he can do is fight and continue to promote. And Bobby Traeg is standing behind him there. He's uh, one of our statisticians. And a defeated Ronnie Warrior Jr. Seconds. All right, there's a couple of things that led to the end of this fight, and we're going to show you the first uh, combination here. Now, watch this. The crowd was chanting Ali Ali, and then this nice combination of which a couple of punches got through there. And then he'll come up with a big shot. Watch this to set up his first knockdown. And boom, boom, the left hook. Right hand and the guy's weak right now. Left hand clipped him on the ear. Bouncing right hand, the uppercut and his legs are staggered right now. It didn't look as uh, hard as it was at the very end of the fight, but there's a good right hand that sends him down and he can't recover from that one. And it scored as a second round knockout victory. We have to get the official particulars. So let's go to our ring announcer, David Diamante, who's standing by. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Harvey Dark calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes and 59 seconds into round number two. Your winner by knockout, he's still undefeated from Brooklyn, New York, Saddam, World Kid, oh.